Ah, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome all to some more Plants vs. Zombies. In the last part, I failed miserably to protect my yard. Miserably. So, on to 4-9. Let's hope my streak of failure hasn't continued on to this video. Funny that the last number was 13 and it just... Nothing went right. So, let's see. This, this, this. This, this, this. So that's enough defensive offensive. I need this. And I need something for the balloon zombies. I need offensive! Um, let's see. I will... Take the repeater. I don't quite use the repeater. You know what, fuck it. I haven't seen the repeater in a long time. As well as... What to pick? What to pick? These guys. Man, that fog is coming up pretty far. Oy. At least now I can get back to using the whole sunshroom business. Because I totally enjoy using these things. Yes, I enjoy that. So, might as well get this out so I can see what's going on. Even if it dies, it will die knowing that it helped me. It's a really creepy plant now that I look at it. Not like your genetic plant either. Like, for one, one thing, it shouldn't even be alive. It's a fucking lantern. Well, operates like a lantern. Let's see if I could get another one. There we go. Now I have a good view of most of the yard. I still can't see all of it. How annoying. Let's get as many of these things out as possible. I'm gonna try and build the Puffstream defense a little bit. It's not even defense, not even offense. And I'm gonna try and push further up so I can start attacking things earlier rather than let these Puffstream, let these planters die. I'm stumbling all over my words today. What is with me? Let's put that there. At least normal zombies die to these stupid puff shrooms rather easily. If they didn't die easily to this, I'd be so pissed. And this is why I was trying to build further out, because of stupid shit like that. Ugh. At least that thing's fully grown. So we need to get... Magnet Shrooms... The thing with Magnet Shroom is, although it does remove the metallic objects it picks up, it still has a uh, cooldown time between when it picks something up and when it can pick up another item. But it's a nice passive creature, if anything metallic tries to get near it, it'll pull it away. Very useful, very useful. Now, how in the Sam hell am I going to stall this bucket head? Because I don't have enough money for the tall nuts. There we go. He could pretty much just sit there for some time, think about what he's done in his afterlife. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to be attacking him. N totally forgot. Okay, this zombie's still alive? God. Huge wave of I don't ha have that great of a yard yet! Hi. I just need a three-peater. That's all I need. So I got lanterns in conjunction with uh, stupid me. Now, 
fuck off, Pogo. I'd almost forgotten that you were there. Why did I get rid of that plant? What the hell was wrong with me? Just give me a three pizza! He's not much. Just a mutated pea shooter is all I ask. Just put this here, it's not gonna be much help anywhere else. Start placing these further up. Yeah, I'll put I'll put some magnet shrooms a little bit closer. And that thing's not gonna be close to death anytime soon. My cat will not shut up. How can I stall this zombie? Oh, the magnet shroom's gonna kick in soon enough. But they'll force it to. Now he's gonna steal it, and now this thing will just become a regular zombie. Regular asshole zombie. They even steal the pogos. I forgot about that. Let's push this forward. Now I can see everything. And let's push that forward. Now, if I could get a fucking three-peater, that would be amazing! Thank you. See? Bitch, and you shall receive. Let's see. Put that there. And you start building up. This. So I can see. That. That. There we go. Things are coming up, Millhouse, now. The good thing with magnet shrooms is you don't really need a lot of them. You just need two, maybe three. But you don't need a lot. Still not enough offense going on. The shame it that magnet shrooms don't work on rubber. I couldn't really understand how it could, but it would have been nice if it did. So finally, after such a long time, I could be done with this world. I hate this world so much. Let's see. Put that there, put that there, and now everyone has effectively become my bitch. If I could just have another three Peter to make this go by just a little bit faster. Which evidently isn't even necessary anymore. So as you can see, the magnet stream is a very useful uh Why did that come in? Oh. Hello, this is your mother. Please come over to my house for meat loaf. Leave your front eh? Front door open and your lawn unguarded. Eh? Whatever. Whoa! Why did it get all so dark all of a sudden? This can't be good. Oh well, I hope you survive. Why are you not helping me? You can see me in trouble! Call the police! Call the exterminator! Call your mother! She has meatloaf! Weird thing is, this level has no music at all. It's just emptiness. Sea shroom. That there. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. I can't see anything. Ugh. And they gave me a. F Why would you. <laughs> Why would they give me a, one of those? I can't quite destroy that all that easily. Well, he's gonna die now. I... 
this wasn't as annoying as it was before. Great, what's being eaten now? Grand. Just fucking grand. I always hated this damn world. Oh, cool, so I can't blow that away. Come on, lightning. I can't see shit already. You know, at this point, I actually welcome. I welcome. The goddamn fog. Let's just put that here. What's the point of all the plovers? There's nothing to push away! Literally, there is nothing here. Except the shitty offense. And no music whatsoever. It's just darkness. A little bit of lightness here and there, but it's mostly darkness. Split P. That's different. Not like it matters. I mean... Yeah, it really doesn't matter. I have uh, star streams all over the place. Now there's two seat, two um, star fruits on every row. Just because they can't shoot forward is why I usually don't use them. And I have got to sneeze big time. Oh man, I can I can feel it. Really don't want to sneeze. Really don't want to. I'm fighting it. Have you ever fought the urge to sneeze? It's terror. It's tough. Okay, it's gone now. It's gone. Crisis averted, people. I don't have to sneeze. So everything has at least a... Actually, I don't know why I'm trying to protect myself from, uh... What was that? Oh. Yeah, I was gonna say, why am I trying to protect myself from digger zombies? They get their stuff removed! They lose their hat and their stupid pick. Or rather, they just lose their hat, so they can't see underground, so they pop back up wherever they stopped. I thought they lose their pick, and they came up. But I guess the head is their defensive mechanism. You know what? Screw this. At this point, I don't care what goes on. I mean, look at the yard. Well, look at it when you can. It's just a mess. Ugh. I'm glad I can't look at it all the time. I would just be disappointed. Things are getting neat, and I don't even know what, because I can't see! Whoever thought of this, you are an evil genius. Evil. Oh god. What the hell exploded? Oh, damn. Jack in the box. Lanes 2, 1 and 2 exploded. Still, all these blowovers, when they give you so many of these cactuses, cacti. It's like, what, what's the point? What's the point of the blowover? Just there to be pretty? Back here. Be pretty here. Be pretty here. Hey, be pretty there. That seems to be all they're useful for. Considering a jack in the box is partially metallic, can you take their stuff with the. with the shroom? Well, it's almost all done. After so long. Alright, my yard. It's ugly. Oh, God. Ugh. It's so ugly. Man, look at all those cacti. All that money. 
Apparently money is shiny enough to just cut through the sheer darkness of nature. But all this other shit can't. Well, at least the starfruit can shoot behind itself, so... You can place it further up and it'll be just fine. We done here? There we go. Finally done. In here we have a completely different type of plant. The cabbage pole hurls cabbages at the enemy. So that takes care of all of level 4, really. Such a pain in the ass. Cabbage pole Yeah. Yeah. Cabbage pole is okay with launching cabbages at and at zombies. It's what he's paid for, after all, and he's good at it. He just doesn't understand how zombies get up on the roof in the first place. You understand that last statement in a moment. So, with that, I will be Jolly Deer, and the next part will take on uh, level 5, last levels of the game. So, stay tuned. With that, I will be Jolly Deer. Have a nice day.